Hello everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson. And this lesson, basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a user policy as a follow-up to our previous one where we create different types of users. Now the thing is, what we want to do now is we want to determine who goes where and what can they do in the application. So that's normally how I would like to start. I would like to think, all right, what is... What are normal users going to do? What are admins going to do? And what going to prevent them from doing something they mustn't do? So in that way, I create a user policy and a middleware. So when I build my application, I use that middleware and policy wherever it's needed. All right. So in our case, so the first thing that we're going to do is let's create our user policy. All right. So what we do is we open up our terminal. And what we do is PHP artisan. And we just say make, and then you can obviously say policy. And what we're going to call it is user policy. Okay, so then you press enter. All right, so our policy is created. So in order to view the policies, you go to app. You will see a new folder is created for you called policies. So inside there, we will have our user policy. So let's just close our terminal. All right, so this is basically our policy right here. So it's the same one that we used um, for our Joe's workshop, the project that we did for eloquent querying relations. So it's the same thing. We're just going to create a constant called admin. All right. And this is basically going to equal to admin. So when we call on this method, it's actually just going to bring um, our method. So let's just call it a string admin like this all right and we can actually just delete the construct with the block so let's just remove that nope okay so then we're just going to create a method in here for called admin so basically when we call the constant admin it actually will bring us this method right here you will see when we create the middleware then you will see where how this is useful all right, so in our admin class, basically, we want to call in that user. So basically, if the user is locked in or something, they will be able to have that user model that we call on to. All right, so we will have a user ID or whatever the case may be. In this case, what we do with this, we just return a Boolean, true or false statement. All right, so basically, we're going to return if the user is admin, you guys remember when we created the method inside the user model. So let me just open the user model again. So you will see this method right here. All right. That's what we're calling in this. All right. So if the user is admin or if the user is moderator. But now in our case, what we want to do is we don't really want to give the moderators certain privileges. Okay, so they only going to have certain privileges, but not all privileges. So in our case, we just want to return if the user is admin. So let's just leave it as that. All right, so basically, this is our user policy. So that's the only thing that we will need in here. All right, so let's say you added another, if you guys remember, if we add another user, for let's say supervisor is supervisor because they will have more or less the same uh, privileges as some admin so if we added this method inside your user then you will add it here as well because they will more or less have the same privileges but admin will obviously have in certain areas more privileges but anyway for us we're just going to stick it to is admin all right so basically now this is our policy done. Now the next part that we're going to do is we need to create a middleware that's going to handle this policy. All right, so let's do that. Not really handle. Let me just rephrase that. Actually going to make use of the policy. That's just a better better way. All right, but we're obviously going to register our policy in a second, but I just want to create the middleware quickly. All right, so what we're going to do is PHP artisan make uh, middleware all right and we're gonna just call it is admin or you can say verify 
admin. Right? That is your naming convention. Is admin just sounds a little bit better for me. So if I read it, is admin, it will make sense for me. Okay. Or verify admin, your choice. All right. So we're gonna just gonna make that middleware is admin. So middleware is created successfully. All right. So let's go and register our policy. So where do we register policies? Now the thing is, Laravel come with the providers folder right here. And in our auth provider right here, you will see we got a protected policy right here. So what we can do is they actually put in the full path to our model and the full path to the policy. But what we can do is we can actually just do it like user class and obviously we need to import it at the top since we don't bring in the full path and actually just referencing that user policy all right so okay we must obviously reference the class right here that's it all right so now that is all done and set up all right so the next part that we're going to do is we need to go to our middleware that we just created so how do we find the middleware under HTTP middleware, you will see our new middleware in there is admins. Now, what will happen now is we will use this middleware whenever, let's say we create a controller. Let me just go to a controller quickly, page controller. You will remember that we will normally do a public uh, construct method. Let me just do public function construct like this and then you will return uh, this dot middleware all right and then inside here is basically where we're gonna call in that admin class right here all right so when we create all we can actually do it in our routes as well but in certain cases I just like to do it like this but anyway it's your preference okay and let me just close that off so you can just use that in your controllers or in your route but we're going to get to that part for now let's just do uh, actually add in our method all the things that we need for our middleware right now the first thing that we're going to do is you guys remember that we created that policy right let me just give me some room here what we want to do is we want to check basically the auth guard. All right, let me just. Uh, okay, so if the auth, all right, so basically authentication guard. All right, if that guard, so we're going to put it in here. So, and then what we want to do is we want to check the user that is basically logged in. So the user, okay. So, and then we want to check. So we obviously have to add the guard here as well. Otherwise, we're going to get that error right there. So let me just add that here. The default, let me just put the guard right here. Equal that to null. All right. So if that user can. Now, the can method is a helper method with Laravel. So if the user can, let me bring in that user policy right there that we just created. If the user can be an admin, all right, so now we call on that that constant that we created. That constant will just call the method. All right, if as you can see, if I hover over it, if that constant will just call the admin, and the admin will basically be that uh, method that we created. If the user policy, and then we obviously bring in the user class right there. Let me just got it. All right, so now what we want to do is then we want to, if the user can, and we obviously let me just do this. No. Now the default guard that we will use here is the web guard. Okay, so if that guard is the web guard is user can, then we bring in a policy, and that policy will check if the user is an admin. That's it. Okay, so no, not too much difficulty there. And obviously check it against the user class and then return it in there. Then basically return. Now the thing is what we want to do is we want to throw an exception when this doesn't go all smooth and there's a problem. 
then we can just throw an exception to say like listen a boot you mustn't be here so http exception all right and we can do a 403 meaning forbidden okay so unauthorized and we can just put in the word forbidden right here all right so now we created our middleware and we created our policy and our policy we use in our middleware right there and the next part that we're going to do is we're going to be able just to if a user logs in then we're going to redirect the admin to a certain part and a user to a different part so the admin go to their own dashboard and yes all right so this is kind of the user phase stage of the setup that's what i normally would like to do because if you set this up correctly it saves you a lot of headaches in your project later because everything depends on what you want your users either to do or not to do if you start that off in the beginning then you can determine uh, what things to do it basically guides your whole project all right and that's it for the video so if you like the video please give it a like and if you don't like the video, please give it a dislike. And if you find it useful, I appreciate it if you do give it a like. And yes, and the next one, we will do the login response. Create a login response to redirect the admins to their own page and users to their own page as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.